Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your December 2023 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's see what we have for you Sagittarius. As always, it won't be for everyone. Take what resonates. So we're going to pull an overarching energy. We'll then look at some general energies and then we will look specifically at love, romance, relationships, money, career, finances and any other thread that comes out. So what do we have for our lovely Sagittarians? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides for the month of December 2023. We have the Ace of Pentacles as your overarching energy. Fire signs are getting some really positive overarching energies for December. Um, and you're no exception. Again, the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning, but it's always a little bit special because you're getting some kind of gift here from God, Spirit, the Universe, heavily influenced by that. We have Justice, Seven of Pentacles, we've got the King of Cups, Knight of Swords, let's see what we have for you Sagittarius in Love, romance, relationships first. So what do we have for our lovely Sagittarians, please? Angel Spirits Guides for love, romance, relationships for December. Seven of Pentacles again. And we have the Two of Wands. And let's see what we have in terms of money career for you. What do we have for Sagittarians, please? Money career finances. We've got the Queen of Swords. And we have the Hanged Man. All right. What do we have for Sagittarius? Thank you. Angel answer card. And when the angel cards, the oracle cards come out, Sagittarius, just take the messages. It could be applied to this reading. It can also apply to a different area of life. Sometimes we just get the messages that we need to hear. So we have take action. Let's pull a romance angel card for you. What do we have for Sagittarius? That flew out. So finances and career are a focus. We have financial issues are affecting a factor. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And I'm going to pull card for money career finances your cards are flying out let's see what we have we have organized for success do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose organizing your thoughts your reports your living and workspace and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps I'm going to pull some additional messages for you. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. I'm going to pull you an energy card. What do we have for... <laughs> you know, when the temple path comes out, it always feels like this is the path that you're meant to be on. This is unfolding for you. Uh, number 12, let me read that out to you. We have spiritual purpose and support. Receiving this card represents your own spiritual evolution. The winding path you are on 
leads to a blessed temple in a lovely garden, symbolizing the spiritual destiny your soul has in mind for this lifetime. This card upright is here to tell you that what you're going through now is all part of your soul's process. You are on a karmic path and heading in the right direction. And the choices you make now are more important for your personal growth and life lessons. This is a wonderful life expanding time. So keep in mind your personal priorities as well as your spiritual connection. Following your higher intentions will help you move your life forward in dramatic ways and connecting with spirit and your higher self will have a wonderful influence on all that you experience. Something is unfolding for you. Again, we've got an ace, like I said at the beginning. It's a kind of gift that links to a new beginning. I'm going to pull an Archangel Michael message. What do we have for our lovely Sagittarians? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. What does Sagittarius need to hear for December? We have number 28, someone new is coming. An important new relationship is on the horizon. Open your mind and heart so that happiness can enter your life. Now, this can be very good in terms of love, romance, relationships, but it can also be, in general reading, someone new coming, maybe a new connection, potentially as well. Kind of a meant to be energy with the temple path in whichever area of life. And I'm also going to pull you an animal card, an animal oracle card. What do we have for Sagittarius? Thank you for the month of December 2023. We have dog, divine service. How can you serve yourself better? And we have dolphin, Atlantis. Healing wisdom is surfacing. Stop and listen. Healing wisdom can be linked with health areas, healing uh, rifts. It can also be um, recovery for me. Or finding the right solution to an issue. You know, that kind of sense of, yeah, I feel this is moving forward in a great upward direction now. I'm on the up now, having gone through change. You know, this can be that kind of scenario. But it's all about how you can serve yourself better. We have taken action. Because the Ace of Pentacles represents a golden gift. It's lovely energy. I mean, this can be very positive on the career front. The Ace of Pentacles can represent new stability, a new door opening for you. Very positive in terms of jobs, business opportunities, career path, contracts. It feels that kind of energy. I get the sense here I get the sense here Sagittarius that you may have had conversation or you might be having a conversation in terms of where things are going in a current career path could be with your boss for example because there's a kind of underlying frustration that I'm getting because you're wanting to know where am I going to go to next? What's happening next? I feel that you've had a conversation. You know, I put all this time and energy into my work, my career. I feel I've proven myself. I feel I've built up a good reputation. I've done what you asked me for. Again, this sense of loyalty with the dog energy. And I feel that you're having a conversation here. And again, this could have, whatever stage you're at, you could have even had that conversation in terms of where things are going, what happens next. I feel that you want progress in terms of progress, advancement in terms of money, career, finances. You want recognition. You might want title or status change as well. Greater responsibility and recognition for the work that you've done. And also the fact that you might have been loyal and dedicated in 
how much work and effort you have been put in, been putting into your work and career. Again, you might have stayed beyond the working hours. You might have been diligent. You might have been really hard working. And again, there is that conversation being had saying, listen, I've done all this work. Where am I going to next? Where do you see, you know, can I have the next level up, the next step up? potentially in terms of your career path. I feel that you want advancement, promotion, recognition in some way, title change, status change in some way. And I feel that that's a conversation that you've had. This could even have been, you know, some kind of appraisal situation as well. That you might have, you might have been vocal about, well, where am I going to next? And if that conversation isn't going well for you or you don't feel that you're getting anything out of it, this is that point where you're wondering whether you stay where you are or whether you step into the unknown. These are the energies that I'm seeing and because we're getting a focus on career and finances, I understand. I mean, there could be someone new coming to you in terms of love, romance, relationships, even from a love point of view. But there just feels such a focus here on money, career, financial areas for you this month. Because again, the, the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, it's that where you're taking stock and evaluating the conversation that you're having in your current situation. And this can be that scenario here of where you're you're ready to take action because you're taking your world in your hand hands and deciding what happens next. And you're not afraid to step into the unknown. This can be, if I don't get a big step forward here, then I'm going to take my world in my hands and get a big step forward elsewhere. This is that kind of scenario here. With the Two of Wands energy, you're making choices and decisions about how, about your future and taking the necessary steps on your journey because I definitely feel that you have come to that kind of crossroads and you're wanting to know what next, where is this going in my current circumstances and if you're not getting what you want or hearing what you want in your current circumstances, you're ready to step into the unknown. This is that scenario here. There is action. Even taking the necessary steps in response to that too. Because, you know, the Queen of Swords and the Hanged Man, sometimes we wait and we wait and we wait and we can be promised things. We can be given, uh, like I said, appraisals can be where we can better ourselves, when we can improve in certain areas. And sometimes we can like, you know, say, okay, um, I'm going to prove myself. Then when it comes to the next appraisal, hopefully I will get the advancement that I want. These can be those kind of scenarios. Again, it can be when we kind of like wait, even in our current circumstances for things to play out and hope that we're going to get to where we want to be. And it feels like advancement in some way. But... I feel that you're seeing the truth of that situation here, Sagittarius. Again, I think seeing the truth, you're making some kind of clear, decisive action. Uh, that if you're not going to get you what you want in your current circumstances, you're going you're gonna to step into the unknown. And you're at that point this month. And this is where I see you making clear choices and decisions by being very clear about what's serving you and what's not serving you now. And sometimes even we bide our time with waiting for the right opportunity to come up. Again, if you're looking at your options even, because maybe a conversation is not really uh, giving you what you want to hear, again, we can look at our options, we can look at opportunities, we can really consider about, okay, what's out there? Uh, because and bide our time for something right to come up. So these are the energies that I'm seeing for you. And it's all resp in response to this conversation that you're having in your current space. You know, I feel that you want advancement. I feel that you feel that you've persevered and put a lot of time and energy and been loyal. I mean, I feel that you've been loyal. I'm not sure whether you're getting, you're being told what you want to hear. And I think that this is making you making some clear choices and decisions to decisively even potentially cut cords um, 
because you're clear now in terms of how you want to move forward. Now, the King of Cups and the Justice card is interesting because King of Cups can be somebody, it can be somebody new. King of Cups in a business aspect can be generally somebody who is who really cares about the team. You would instantly bond with this person. You would instantly like this person. You know, King of Cups is somebody who's quite, can be quite warm. Um, you, they, they always have their door open. They likely always, you know, uh, put their team first. They like a happy team. They like to invest in the team. They would likely have, uh, be into kind of like a, training and uh, people development, you know, that kind of thing as well. So you might be connecting to that kind of person. Again, this could also be somebody telling you who cares about you. You need to, you need to see this for what it is and, you know, and, and see the truth of this situation. They might be supporting you on this journey as well. But the justice card can be actually linked with, it can be very positive in terms of, uh, new contracts it can also be actually about making the right decisions and choices for you but it also incoming it can be very positive in terms of decisions to do with new contracts but justice is generally what we put our energy and time into is is generally what we get back you know and it feels that you're being asked to evaluate what you put your time into and are you getting back what you deserve. If not, there could be some kind of clear choice or decision for you this month to look at your options and potentially see what's out there. And that's what I'm seeing here. Because there's a kind of karmic energy as well with this in the sense that if your current company doesn't give you and value you and appreciate you for what you do, then it will be their loss ultimately if you go and get a new job elsewhere. And that's the karmic energy here. Um, because, again, the Ace of Pentacles is a new job, it's a new opportunity, it's a new career path, and this is the Temple Path. And again, this could be somebody new who is presenting it to you. Um, but I, I definitely see this kind of scenario here. Again, Queen of Swords can also be somebody who might be bringing you news as well. And funny enough, I was actually seeing that as your energy. Uh, being at that point where you're seeing the truth and ready to cut cords with things that don't serve your highest good. But, you know, the Ace of Pentacles is a golden gift. It's a golden opportunity. And it links with this new temple path. Maybe a new path that you're meant to be on. And it feels like, again, this healing energy, just the remedy, because I feel there is likelihood with two seven of pentacles in this reading that you've been frustrated in your current circumstances or frustrated with maybe a boss. Um, you've been having those conversations and speaking your truth and there has been a desire for forward movement here, but I feel that you haven't been getting it where you weren't wanted it to be. Um, and therefore it feels like you're changing your focus and moving in a different direction, but that feels very empowering for you. There is a golden opportunity here as a result of that. Someone new is coming. Again, this can be very positive in terms of money, career, finances. And again, in relationship, again, because again, that's coming out, career and finances is coming out in um, your love area. This could even be, again, a friend, family, love, romantic partner telling you, you need to evaluate what you put time and energy into and whether it's worth it and if you're not getting what you want from your current circumstances and you've been really loyal how can you serve yourself better and it's about taking your step back and re-evaluating what you put time and energy into uh, because I feel that there is that sense of supportive karma around you if, if, if you've really been loyal and dedicated to your current situation when you change things up it's their loss and likely, they won't be expecting you to, to move in a different direction. They won't be expecting you to, you know, to leave. To step into the unknown. It might well be a huge wake-up call for them. But I feel that you're finding just the remedy in that respect. And that's what I'm getting for you. Now, in terms of love, romance, relationships, I also see that someone new is coming, potentially in terms of new connections. 
Uh, so that could, uh, again, someone new can be new love. That can also be someone new can be new friendships, new pets even. If you are healing from a past relationship even, this is an energy of how can you serve yourself better. It might well be for some of you, you focus on your money, career, financial aspect first, because generally when one, we kind of balance at one part of our life and make that work for us, it kind of has a very positive ripple effect in another area. And again, this can be opening up to someone new. It could even be as you're going through this process, you meet somebody new. This is all to play for here in the month of December, 2023. And that's what I see for you. When you take action, and reevaluate what you put time and energy into, you get the reward back. You get the reward that spirit is trying to bring into you. I'm going to pull you a spirit message. What do we have for our lovely Sagittarians? Thank you. Message from spirit for Sagittarius for December 2023. Yeah, we have dream talk. And don't lose sight of hopes, dreams and wishes. This really is a time of daring to dream. I'm realising that if your current circumstances are not working for you, then it's about focusing on new hopes, dreams and wishes. Again, this is what I'm seeing for you in the reading. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages and more. All right, Sagittarius, I found the fairy cards again. <laughs> So let's see what your final message is for the month of December 2023. We have moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily. Although the fairies say a little bit of what you fancy is fine. Yeah, I mean, I like this energy because moderation really ties in with temperance, which is the card of Sagittarius in the Major Arcana. And it's about being really balanced, uh, being staying centered, you know, um, approaching things in moderation. You're not, you know, there's no gut reaction here. There's no spontaneity. There's no kind of like shooting from the hip. I feel that you've been very diligent and very analytical and very calculated and very methodical in your approach to this situation. And that's moderate energy and it serves you well. Bottom of the deck, I've got abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have in fairyland and human land. There's enough abundance for everybody. Because there is that sense here that if you are taking steps, don't fear the unknown. Sometimes we stay where it's familiar. But it might well be for some of you. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting, hoping that things would change and even given people enough time to for advancement in money career but I feel this is a scenario here in December where this is where you are taking your world in your hands and potentially seeing what's out there and it looks for some of you that there is a new path there is something new that's unfolding for you and it's a gift I mean the ace of pentacles is a really lovely golden gift uh, because it's really where spirit is influential in potentially bringing something new in for you and it feels like because you deserve it. That's what I want to say. You know, whether you're recognised for what you do in your current circumstances, spirit, karma, recognises it and they want to bring in a golden gift for you. That's the energy here. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful December 2023 and I will see you next time.